How's it going guys? It is me, Chris here, and in the past two weeks I have been out and unable to make videos um, between going on vacation and just being sick. So I'm happy to announce that today I am back in action and I'm only going to be around for a couple days, uh, but today I figured I'd give you guys a little tutorial regarding Motion 5. So stay tuned and uh, let's get started. Alright guys, so in today's tutorial I'm just going to be showing you all how to create a simple introduction using the templates provided for you in Motion 5. Now Apple was nice enough to include these very simple and basic things, uh, basic tools I should say, for creating a very simple introduction. So to start, I'm just going to show all of you the intros that I have created using these templates and just inserted the text Chris the Apple Man Productions. So I'm just going to roll, full, roll through these first and then I'll come back and show you exactly how to insert the text and just a, a couple very basic editing uh, tips in Motion 5 itself. So let's start the demo reel. So now that you guys have gotten a feel for the different looks that the presets in Motion 5 have to offer, I figured I would show you the quickest and easiest way to make an introduction of your own. As you can see, when you open up the program itself, you are presented with this project creation menu, also known as the project browser. This is essentially the cockpit for beginning all your Motion 5 creations, and uh, as you can see here, underneath the compositions tab, you can see all the names of the preloaded introductions that I just showed you. Now as you may notice, there is one intro called, I believe, Snap, and uh, this is one introduction that I did not show you, simply because it has too many subtitles to be based, uh, or to be used as a basic YouTube introduction. So there's just too, way too much in here, uh, a lot of just information that is not necessary for just making a uh, simple introduction. So um, anyways, now I'm going to just uh, open up a new sample for you guys, we're just going to do... Let's do Swarm, how about that? So um, this one seems to be a little bit more uncommon, so we'll just open up this to show you a little bit of a tutorial. So what you're gonna wanna do is simply click Swarm Open. This is gonna be um, pretty much the introduction type. You can see here that you have the lower thirds if you just wanna do something in the middle of a video, so you can have everything pretty much be the same theme overall. But uh, for the actual introduction, this is the one that I use, Swarm Open. So as you can see, this is in uh, 1920 by 1080p resolution, so aspect, with an aspect ratio of 1.00, uh, 1.0 I should say. So we're just going to open up a copy, and then basically this is just going to do all the work for you, and uh, when you select the project you like, it simply opens up, and uh, you can see all the different elements that are already incorporated in, into the project for you. So you can see here we have the camera, all the text elements, graphics, background elements, pretty much everything you need to get started. So now all you're going to really want to do to create this really simple introduction is um, just put place in the text. So as you can see we're kind of just uh, scrubbing through the footage here so this is how this is all broken down pretty much frame by frame. So as you can see this is the end part and uh, this is where you're going to want to insert your own title or sub and subtitle I should say. 
So um, basically what you're gonna wanna do, what I like to do, as you can see here, this is kind of the viewing window. So what I like to do is come into here and just choose fit to window. Now as you can see, this is the actual size that the video is going to be, rather than just showing you part of it. So although the text may look at 100%, this looks, wow, this is right up in your face, this is actually gonna be the window that you, that you export as. So all I'm gonna do is select this T down here, and this is for text, so you can edit the text. So now I just clicked on the title here. I'll just select all of that, and then insert Chris the Apple Man, and then down here we'll just insert Productions. So that's really all it is, guys. Just hit return. Actually, no, don't hit return. Just uh, click back to the position tool, and then you can go and do all this uh, inspecting and all that kind of stuff. So essentially, if you wanted to, if you want to make this a little bit bigger, just go back into the text selector, go into inspector up here, and then you can see you can choose the size of the thing. So I believe for my introduction part, I made the size a little bit bigger. You can change the font, the color, pretty much anything that you guys want. So like I said, this is just a basic, basic way to create an introduction for YouTube videos or anything like that. And for $50, guys, I have to say that this program is definitely worth it. I know there's some speculation of whether or not Final Cut Pro 10 was worth it or not, and for many people it, it's not. Um, but I have to say that if you guys are looking to just create some great introductions and just really learn a lot about all this stuff, um, I'd have to say that Motion 5 is a great program to do that in. Now, before I uh, end this video here, I'm just going to show you guys how to uh, export this. So as you can see, we have Chrissy Appleman Productions, and of course you can edit all the other elements if you'd like to. Um, so I just made this a little bit bigger. I'd probably make Productions a little bit bigger as well. But basically what you're going to want to do is come up here into the Share tab. As you can see, my computer's lagging a little bit. Um, but you just go up into Share, and then Export Movie. So you're just going to export this as pretty much an MOV file. Um, what I like to do is go in and just do as an H.264. This, and then since I didn't incorporate any audio into it, and I just add the audio into in via Final Cut later, I'm just going to export the video only. Now after export, you can just choose where you want to go, and then uh, open with QuickTime Player, hit Next, and then of course you can save it to wherever you want to go. So all you're going to do is that, click Save, and it's going to continue to export it. Now, of course, my computer's pretty slow, but um, for some of you guys, this, is pro this will probably take a lot quicker time, or a lot less time, I should say. So anyways, guys, I hope this tutorial was useful for you, and if you haven't bought Motion 5 already, uh, you can see that there's, even if you don't know a whole lot about the program already, like I don't, um, you can just easily go in here and make a simple introduction and edit it in any way you'd like. So, again, thank you very much for watching the video, and I hope this helps, and I hope to be making some videos soon. So uh, stay tuned to the channel. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.